tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. This is not exactly a tutorial, I just want to show you something. And since we're dealing with character animation, we need to set the dimensions to meters. Not crucial, but quite handy. We go to Windows, General Editors, Content Browser, because that, that's where the interesting things reside where we can begin animating and you have a rigs section with four characters maybe in future versions of Maya you will have a hundred that would be very good and let's select Eric Richt he's called Richt because he has bones in his geometry let's have a look at him we have here in the outliner something greenish here and here we have uh, the skin. When we hide it, we see the skeleton. So let's unhide it now. We can see his texture by clicking here. Now, uh, in this part of the window in Maya, you see something which is quite interesting. And uh, we'll see this again in just uh, a few minutes. When you pick his arm, and press the key W in order to move it down, he does interesting things. Why does he do that? Why does he bend his knees while we move the, the, the wrist of the hand down? Well, because the inverse kinematics, as it's called, doesn't, uh, it tries to solve that wish we have here by not elongating or shorten the bones just rotating the joints and when we pick someone here at the hand and uh, drag the hand all the way down and away from the body the body has to some kind of adjust and uh, this is what he does and um, that's why we would typically do this to make it easy for the skeleton just as we would do it in natural life an interesting thing here to note is this icon. This icon means we're dealing with body parts and this icon means we're dealing with a whole body. So whatever I pick I can uh, deal with and I can set keyframes. And that's what I'm uh, gonna do. I've just changed the position of that hand. Now I want to change the position of the foot and I can pick it here or there. I just move this a little bit forward and the other one a little bit backward and I rotate it just a little bit outside. We move the hip slightly down just a little bit to give the, the body a little bit of relax, relaxation. And the hand should stay there, that's just fine. And um, whatever we've picked on that character, when we go to frame zero, and press the key S, we key all the parts of the body. So when we go to say frame 30 now, which is about a second or 25, um, we can move the hip forward, we move that leg forward, we keep that leg back there, move the hip a little bit back again like this and higher and then we lower that arm. Same problem as before. Uh, we better move it in and down so the whole body doesn't have to adjust to our odd wish about uh, where we want to position the wrist of the hand. So um, we are at frame 24 now and we set a keyframe and what it does now is this motion here. In the middle we could use the foot to be lifted up just a little bit, set a keyframe and so this is how we can begin an animation. 
and this thing here appeared in Maya first time I guess in version 2016 so not too long ago we're in version 2019 now this comes from somewhere and I show you where it came from and that's historically interesting and maybe not only historically uh, we minimize the Maya window and below that I have a window which is called Motion Builder 2019 it is distributed by Autodesk as well and uh, it's not of such high priority as Maya it's not as prominent and uh, I'm not sure what uh, the future of a Motion Builder will be but uh, when you install it and you can get a three year free copy if you use it for uh, studying purposes be aware that you when you install it you get a, a, a menu which asks you set my mouse and the keyboard interaction to motion builder or Maya there's a flip menu here which I cannot activate right now because it's just a screenshot but uh, you would typically when you come from Maya uh, use Maya here instead of motion builder default that's why we can navigate in the scene as we used to with the alt key and um, and the mouse buttons like this and uh, the process here in uh, motion builder has worked basically the same as we've just seen in Maya but for years now for a long time actually since the very beginning of that uh, software the original name of motion builder was filmbox and it was launched by Kaidara or Kaidara in the 1990s this website here shows us the release of version 2.0 uh, and that was in 1999 at SIGGRAPH they uh, introduced that so there must have been a version 1.0 probably in the mid 90s so what we're going to do is we go here to the asset browser which is basically the same as the content browser and uh, down here we have tutorial files and uh, you can choose basically any of them I guess I'm not very familiar with that uh, but uh, we can choose Mia rigged I move it into the scene and that's different from Maya we have the different options and we want to open it and we want to open it with no animation I guess it has an animation built in but uh, we don't want that we want a T pose here you see what I was talking about this thing has this representation of a skeleton has moved directly into Maya where it is here it's exactly the same thing and Maya got it from Motion Builder so that's the source actually and here basically if you want to deal with Motion Builder many people who do keyframe animation and mo motion capture animation say Motion Builder is much more advanced still um, than Maya whole concept is slightly different um, because you work with poses and the, this is the pose controls here so let's do basically the same as we just did with our creature and you see she behaves the same as uh, what we've seen the undo command is not the key Z it's the key control Z so we move this inside a little bit down like this and we pick the foot you see that you have basically the same manipulators I move this a little bit to the back and I rotate it this is a rotation I really appreciate this is much more horizontal and uh, move the hip down or rotate the hip slightly just like this and just a little bit down maybe I want to make her bend a little bit we can uh, move from rotation to translation all the time basically um, and uh, this is the first position I want to keyframe now and uh, keyframing is uh, it is basically a thing which you do with poses so we're under pose controls this window is empty we press the plus sign and here we have that pose and when we double click it well I think right mouse click we can rename it uh, and we call it Mia 1 which means just our starting pose here now um, we don't need to go to another frame in the timeline we just change the position of that character now 
And here you see a difference uh, to the Maya setup. The hands are what is called pinned. Pinning is a, is a very strong feature in Motion Builder, really. I create a new pose. We have Mia 1 with a plus sign. I get Mia 2 and right mouse button rename and I call it Mia 2. So for example, if you animate a character which is sitting, standing, walking, punching, or climbing upstairs or whatever, you set different poses. And then you can always double click pose one, for example, and she jumps back to the to the first pose. And double click here, and we have the second one. So if you want to keyframe that, so she moves from pose one to uh, pose two, you go to the beginning of the animation, and then here you have the animation section, which looks a little bit more complicated than in Maya, but you just basically press flat. You have a full body uh, keyframing, and flat means uh, it uh, starts smoothly. And then you go to, say, frame, what was it, 24, and double click here and set another flat keyframe. And that's what she does. She slides back with one foot. I don't know why she does that. I'm really not very familiar with that program, but I think uh, it's quite inviting to use. I go back to Maya and where it's basically the same, a much cleaner layout, I think. There are people who are devoted to Motion Builder and say no program is better for character animation than Motion Builder. Well, give it a try. You can study it for free for three years. Bye-bye.